talked about diet and what it means diet to us and the dictionary and definition of diet. Today, I'm talking about how to stay motivated while you're losing weight. The first thing is important in losing weight is how to weigh yourself. Because that can be discouraging or encouraging at the same time. The first thing you do, you set up a realistic goal. Your goal should be one to two pounds every week. And also, keep in mind your motivation. What is your motivation you want to lose weight? Write it down, stick it somewhere that you can see it all the time. And whenever you see it, say it aloud. Keep your scale in a flat surface, not on the somewhere that it is not uh, um, in um, an even place or on the carpet. Or do not move it at where you all or first time you weigh yourself to set up the uh, baseline. Don't move it, leave it at the same place at all times. Because certain places in the, your house, upstairs, downstairs, makes a lot of difference in your weight. Also, wear as less as possible when you weigh yourself. Weigh yourself once a week on Friday morning, before breakfast or after and after you emptied your bladder and your colon. Wear pedometer on your, um, on your pants or skirt. Make sure your pedometer is lined up with the center line of your uh, pants. That way, it would count your steps correctly. And you can see on the pedometer how much weight or calorie you have burned. This translates to 10 pounds a year if you do it properly. At the end of the little goal you set, you reward yourself. Do something fun for yourself, or even indulge in a little bit of ice cream, or cake, or cheesecake, or anything you like. I'm going through certain different stages, and this is weight, and I go through different ones. If you like, you can ask me your questions at the end of each section, and I'd be happy to answer your question, maybe one or two, or I can do it at the end of the whole thing, whichever is comfortable for you. You want to do it at the end? Yes. Or you want to ask your question about this section? At the end? At the end, okay. Next thing is what to eat and how to eat. Eat 90% of your food at home. Try to do not go out as much to eat, to eat, not in at all. Because eating food at home is fresher, is healthier, is less expensive. You can control your portion size and ingredients. Also, make sure to include lean protein, complex carbohydrates, and unsaturated fat in every food you eat. We, I explained last time why these three elements are important for diet. If you want it, I can explain it later to you. Choose a small plate, fill half of it with vegetables, one quarter with carbohydrates, and one quarter with protein. Always eat breakfast, and eat your breakfast, lunch, and dinner approximately at the same time every day. And try to eat your protein-rich food in the morning so it will keep you full for a longer period of time. Most of your calories has to be taken before noon. That way you lose more weight. Sometimes people make a mistake between being hungry or being thirsty. When they are thirsty, they eat because 
some food, they have water, and it would be hydrated them a little bit. But make sure that you are thirsty, not hungry when you eat. Eat small snacks every day between food, like nuts and uh, fiber-rich beans. Eat fruit and vegetables at all time, every time you eat snacks, because it had, they have water and they have fibers. They would keep you full for longer period of time. Avoid drinking fruit juice instead of fruit. It has too much, too much sugar in there, that it is not good for you. It takes 20 minutes for the brain to realize that we are hungry. In these 20 minutes, we can always overeat. For that reason, there's a trick to, uh, to do, and that is when you are, try, uh, when you are um, ready to eat, when you take the first bite, put your fork or spoon down and chew for about 25 <clears throat> times, and then count to five before you pick up your spoon for the next bite. Wait until you're hungry to eat. And when you are 80% full, leave the table. Because that 20%, it hasn't reached the brain yet. And you will find out, you know, in 20 minutes that you are actually really full. And that's the reason you eat 80%, when you are 80% full, you leave the table. Avoid processed food and already made food. You, um, I read somewhere that they said, don't eat anything that it is not, you didn't make it. Because that is jeopardize your diet. Limit your alcohol intake. And if you take our car, try to have it in the tall glass and narrow glass rather than short tumblers. Don't wear clothes that it is loose fit because when they are loose fit, you don't feel that your body is expanding and you just overeat. Finish your dinner before 8 p.m. and close your kitchen. And don't go in there unless you want to drink water to give your body, you know, time to uh, digest. Brush and floss your teeth after every meal. Do you know why? Anybody? Because when you have a taste of food in your mouth, you crave more food. When you brush and floss your teeth, it doesn't happen that way because you know you took the flavor of the food away from your mouth. Regulate your sleep. Research has shown that sleeping less than seven hours, it would trigger your appetite. <coughs> What to eat at the restaurant? Order appetizers or kids plate. That's the easiest one. Try to eat salad as much mm -hmm. as you can. And order salad dressings on the side. Dip your fork into the greens and then, you know, uh, before you eat, and try to avoid creamy dressings, bacon, candied nuts, things that they are uh, already, you know, unhealthy. Split your meal with a friend, or ask the waiter to bring you a takeout box, and take half of your food into the takeout box, wrap it up to take it home, and eat the other half. I do that all the time, every time I go out. I know sometimes it's hard. 
When you order pasta, try to order it with marinara sauce instead of Alfredo sauce. These are a little bit little things, but at the end it makes a lot of difference when you are losing weight. Don't eat with a large group. Why do you think it's that? Sharing. <laughs> Don't eat with a large group. Because we always have more food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right? You share. <laughs> and you lose track of what you eat when you eat together. And when you eat together, you drink more and you still lose track of what you eat. Treat high calorie desserts as a treat, not as a meal. I have seen people going to Cheesecake Factory and they eat cheesecake for dinner, not food. That should be a treat. When I go to Cheesecake Factory, that is, I eat it like maybe five, six times every cheesecake. It takes me five to six times before I finish it. I take them home, the rest of it. Limit your alcohol intake for the same reason. What to eat at the party? What do you think? How should you eat and what should you eat at the party? What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Broccoli. Okay. Wine. Okay. We, should, we should increase our alcohol. Okay. okay. <laughs> so right. your uh, stomach is full, you don't eat that's anything. Right. Yeah, more okay. Alcohol. Okay, that's another thing. Okay. Eat before you go. Small fruit or vegetable. That keeps your stomach full and you don't attack chips and dips and all those type of things when you get there. Choose fiber rich food at the table, like carrots, like broccoli, celery, beans, brown rice, instead of those fat lean stuff. Same thing, choose the small plate because you can see how it fills up and also do the half and quarter, half vegetables, quarter carbohydrates and vegetables. Alcohol, limit your alcohol intake. And also try to make one of your social gatherings a week, an active one. What about traveling? What do you think? While you, while you travel, what should you do? Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Eat more, that's right. Drink more. <laughs> when I had my um, first TV show, I, um, people asked me when I go to the party, can I eat? And I told them, uh, if you haven't made it, it has no calorie. I was just kidding, you know. Traveling probably is the same thing. Up to you. He <laughs> said, eat. Um, pack your own food, nuts and fruit. Take it with you. They stay in your stomach for a longer period of time. And also, it's easily transported. Drink plenty of fluid during your trip and avoid alcoholic beverage. Stack your hotel room with water, bottled water and fruit and healthy snacks to avoid going to mini bars. Don't eat, uh, forget to eat breakfast. Choose high fiber and for high protein so it will take, keep you um, full for longer time until you uh, can find it, lunch. If you're driving, avoid fast food restaurants as much as you can. But if you can't, try to get some vegetables or um, salads or more high protein food rather than um, more car uh, high carbo um, simple carbohydrates. Stop for break for longer uh, on the road because if you go hungry for a long time, you just eat anything. Keep a steady eating schedule at the same time that you usually eat. Try to eat while you're traveling too. Thank you very much. Oh. And
If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. I have a question on, um, you said wait until you're hungry to eat. Well, that doesn't work if I'm supposed to be eating at the same time. So if I'm eating at the same time, I may not be hungry. You become, when you get used to it, you become hungry at this time that you are supposed to eat. Like, you know, I usually get hungry around 1 o'clock because I trained myself to eat at 1 for lunch, for at 1, and 7 o'clock for breakfast, and 6 o'clock for dinner. This is the way I trained myself. When, I, um, when it gets closer to 1 o'clock, I, I become hungry. But between 7 and 1, I take a snack. I had a peach bed before I come here, for example. You just have to train yourself to eat at the same time. Even if you work, don't eat at your, well, you know, I had a work place too, but I didn't have time, you know, it, it would take longer time. When you are sitting at your desk, don't eat at your desk. Go to the somewhere else and eat. Go out when it, the weather is nice. Go to your um, dining room downstairs. Any other questions? Yeah, one. Do you, sure. do, do you think that, that that skipping meals is bad, or, or is that Yes, it is. Because you train your uh, cells to starve, and when they, the food comes, they grab it and they don't let it go. And that, you know, um, it makes it harder for them to let it go. And also, you damage your cells. You're not supposed to starve yourself. You mentioned in one of your slides that when you fill your plate, you should fill it up with certain fractions, certain percentages of kind of food. Can you tell me again what those were? I didn't get a chance to write it's down. It's half is vegetable, one quarter protein, and one quarter carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates. And the, you know the difference. It's simple carbohydrates, it's usually sugars, sugary um, carbohydrates, and um, uh, complex carbohydrates is like meat and uh, wheat pasta, or things like that. Um, I have a question. I don't know if it's related. Um, the natural sugar is good or what is natural sugar? Like what do you call natural fruit. sugar? Yes, those are good, but not too much of them, okay. too many of them, because you need those sugar. Because um, sugar is kind of food for the brain. You okay. need sugar for fruit because those are good sugar, uh, but too many of them, like everything else, is not good. Too much of them. Okay. But you know, white, white sugar is not good, and uh, brown sugar is good. Brown, good. Is it good. brown sugar is good, but if it is not the ones they browned it with molasses, uh -huh. you have to make sure it is true brown sugar. Okay. 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 Good. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be happy to answer any other questions if you have later.